Alright guys, so uh, I'm going to show you my lineup of computers from newest, I mean oldest to newest, and uh, tell you a little bit of, uh, of the features about them when they were working, um, and stuff. Mm, some of them I fucked up on my own, some of them just age. So, uh, starting over here. This is a Toshiba Satellite Pro. It had Windows XP on it until I turned it off by the button. Oh, and by the way, while I'm making this video, it's because I've watched several videos lately of kids my age not knowing about old technology, so I thought I'd make a video on it. So, this is a Toshiba Satellite Pro. It's got a CD drive, but this can also come out and be a, uh, uh, floppy drive, you can actually turn it over, and this whole CD drive will come out. As you notice, it has an old RCA style external monitor jack, and if you look back here, it's got two USB ports, a PS2, or the old ball mouses, not USB optics, a DB port, if you look just to the other side of this Ethernet cable, it has a uh, telephone internal modem, if you guys remember those. An RS-232 port for a printer, and an external VGA for a monitor like that. This is the oldest one I've got. According to the manuals, this one will also take Windows 98 Second Edition, and as it says here, Windows XP and Windows 2000. Moving on to the next one. This was actually my first computer. Um, this one is dirty, but it's uh, Windows XP mainly. If I can turn it over here and even read what's on it. Yeah, you can't even read it hardly anymore. It's faded off so bad. This one does not have a CD drive. And I kind of took it apart here. So uh, even if it does work, the mouse doesn't work. It needs a really good cleaning. Uh, the keyboard still works on it. Most of the time. And uh, the screen's broken on this one. You go to turn it on. Uh, this one's even more basic. Uh, but it doesn't have a CD drive. Here's your VGA, your Ethernet, your uh, USB port. This one has an SD card reader, and so does that one, which is right here. This one's got two, though. And what I like about this one, and this one, and this one, which I'll get to that one in a minute, is it's got the two inputs for, well, an output, really, the speaker, and then the input for a microphone. Here's the other two USB, and now this one, unlike any of these, has a second adapter here, or input, for another SD card. Now, you notice the back of this one, it doesn't have... Like that one. This one's an Acer Aspire 1. The original uh, Acer Aspire 1. Moving on to this one. Which this one still works. But every time I go to start it up. It's so slow that I can't get past the login screen. To start the antivirus software. This one is a compact Paserio CQ57-339. WM Notebook PC with Windows 7 on it, or had Windows 7. It still does, but every time I start it, it crashes. You'll notice this one's a lot bigger, and I just unplugged my other computer from the internet. But, uh... This one is a lot different than those two. Here's the VGA port, or that type of monitor. Ethernet port, 
USB, same as those two. That one's there. Uh, it's got the two inputs. It's got an SD card reader. And then on the other side, there's the CD drive. And there's the other two USB ports right over there. This one, if I can turn it over here, is, uh, if you can see that, Windows 7 Home Premium. And, uh, no marks on the back, I mean connections on the back whatsoever. Now, these all do power up. Um, which actually, this one's turned on right now. If you can see the little flashing icon there. Uh, this one, I think the hard drive finally died. This one's got a virus on it and it needs fixed. Now, if we look at the one that I was just given besides this little problem, you'll notice this one has an HDMI connection, two USB ports on one side, an SD card, which I think started uh, a while back. Um, and then on the other side here, I can't quite turn it. Here's the CD drive. Uh, my little fan that I have under it and my microphone. Uh, now if you notice, between these three and this one, if you look at the connector there, it's three. And that's because this is all in one, which I don't like. None of these other ones are touch screen. This one... Well, maybe, yeah, see, if I touch it, it'll come on, which I don't ever use it, but for example, you can see I can just touch the screen, kind of like a phone, which I'm not too crazy about. The ones I'm not crazy about even more is the all-in-one deals, but, uh... Let's see if I can get one of these to fire up. I had this one turned on, but uh, the screen's cracked, so I'd have to bring the screen over here. Uh, but this one powers on. It used to work until whatever I did to it messed it up, and now it won't hold an operating system worth of crap. This one still works. Let me uh, do the uh, command here. It still does that, but it won't actually load an operating system. This one's still got an operating system, but the screen's cracked. The screen's cracked. Uh, and this one is about as dirty as this one. But uh, if you notice on this one, this one, and this one, unlike this one, it doesn't have an ex internal modem, not an external, internal modem. So for all of you who wonder what that sounds like, I'll go ahead and pull it up here for you. And I'll take my headphones off. Alright, so uh, this is basically what it sounds like. We're going to go with the AOL because AOL was quite popular. Yes, so in case you're wondering, yes, that's what that <laughs> sound is. Because I watched a video and they're like, "Is wait, so you're talking about a modem that makes that <laughs> noise? Yes, that's what that is. That's what this has built into the back of it. If you look at older desktop computers, you can actually open them up and see a little card that has two phone connectors on the back. That's a modem, an internal modem. You guys are probably used to Wi-Fi and external modems like DSL, cable, fiber, etc. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd make this video. 
of four generations of computers all right here in front of me. I had more at one time, but, uh, well, they kind of broke on me and or got destroyed. Not by me. But I had everything from a Windows 3.1, Windows 95, Windows 98 SE, Windows XP, Windows Vista, uh, Windows Millennium, pretty much all of them, except for a few. So I'll put uh, pictures of those, uh, or a link to them in the, uh, the, uh, description of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little presentation of all these half-working computers. <laughs>